And as you get ready to cast your vote, we continue to profile candidates up and down the ballot. Paul Gessler met up with Dan Cox at multiple campaign events, but even after repeated attempts, was unable to get the Republican nominee for governor to agree to an interview. Here's Paul's report. The next governor. Polling suggests attorney Dan Cox is the underdog in November's race for governor against Democrat Wes Moore. Cox represents Frederick and Carroll counties in Maryland's House of Delegates and was among the leading voices in Annapolis against pandemic related measures. The articles of impeachment of Governor Lawrence J. Hogan Jr. Earlier this year, Delegate Cox tried to impeach Governor Hogan. The measure failed. Cox has the endorsement of Donald Trump in part to credit for his winning July's primary. And I'm very grateful that President Trump has decided to uh, continue his support and to help us get to the finish line to win this. Cox came under bipartisan criticism regarding January 6th. He organized buses to go to Washington, D.C. He says he took his children to see the president speak. Seven tickets with my kids, and we heard the president of the United States. It was beautiful uh, in this context of being having the freedom to go to the, the mall and to see a White House presentation. Cox said he left before mobs stormed the Capitol. During the siege, he tweeted out of the vice president, Pence is a traitor, a tweet he since deleted and apologized for. The governor has cited that among the reasons he will not support Cox in November. But Cox is trying to draw similarities, even saying a vote for him is a Hogan third term. Well, I think the governor's done a, a very good job on, on large part, except for the lockdowns. Obviously, we disagreed there. I have done everything for the last four years in support of his policies. Governor Hogan called Cox a QAnon whack job, referring to the far right conspiracy theories of which Cox has used hashtags on social media. Are there any tenets of Q that you particularly agree with, or are you disavowing them? Absolutely not. Disavowing all, and I've always done that. This is just a lie. Cox says he'd continue Hogan policies on crime and police funding. I am the law and order governor candidate, and that my opponent is not. That really matters to a lot of people. He says he would expand the state's boost program so more lower income children can attend private schools. I am running to restore opportunity. He is against abortion rights, but instead is highlighting the economy, education, and crime in his general election push. The abortion issue is not even on the table right now in voters' hearts. The issue in front of us is can they even pay for their own kids' food? Paul Gessler for WJZ. And for all the latest election news, make sure you stick with WJZ. We'll make sure you're well prepared to vote before you get to the ballot box. And that includes a complete voter's guide. It's there for you right now on our website.